CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 111 through 115. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 111. A user is working on a project that requires accessing shared network resources frequently. To simplify this process, he decides to map a network drive on his Windows computer using the command line. Which of the following command line tools should be used to map the network drive? The answer is, B. NetUse. The NetUse command is specifically designed to connect a computer to shared resources, such as network drives and printers. This command allows users to assign a drive letter to a network location, making it accessible as if it were a local drive. By using NetUse, the user can efficiently manage and access the network resources needed for their project. Additionally, the command provides options to view existing connections and disconnect from network resources as needed. Question 112. In a company's shared drive, employees often create new subfolders for project collaboration. However, whenever someone creates a new subfolder, only the creator can access it by default, causing issues for team collaboration. Which of the following actions will most likely ensure all team members can access these newly created folders? The answer is C. Enable inheritance. Inheritance is a feature that allows new objects, such as subfolders, to automatically adopt the permissions of their parent folder. Enabling inheritance will ensure that new subfolders inherit the permissions set on the parent folder making them accessible to all team members. This simplifies permissions management and supports seamless collaboration, avoiding the need to manually set permissions on each new subfolder. Question 113. A user is setting up a new computer with Mac OS and needs to install several applications. In which of the following system directories is the software most likely to install by default? The answer is, A. Forward slash applications. The default directory for installing applications on Mac OS is forward slash applications. This directory is specifically designed to house applications, making it easily accessible for users to find and launch their software. It helps in keeping the system organized and distinguishes installed applications from system files and user data. Question 114. A client contacts a tech support center seeking assistance with a malfunctioning software application. Which of the following techniques should the technician use to properly evaluate and address the client's issue? The answer is, D. Use open-ended questions to gather more detailed information. Open-ended questions allow the client to provide comprehensive details about the issue helping the technician understand the problem more thoroughly. This technique ensures that all aspects of the problem are considered, leading to a more accurate and effective resolution. It also encourages better communication and a more collaborative troubleshooting process. Question 115. A small business owner is configuring backup solutions for their office computers. The primary goal is to make the restoration process as straightforward as possible in case of data loss. Which type of backup should the business owner choose? The answer is, A. Full. A full backup captures all the data at once, creating a complete copy of everything. In the event of data loss, restoring from this backup is straightforward because only a single backup file or set is needed. This eliminates the need to piece together data from multiple incremental or differential backups simplifying the recovery process significantly. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.